Well, hello there. This is Dr. Gary Huber, and welcome to a discussion on ozone. Very, very exciting. I recently went out to Reno, Nevada to meet the internationally known Dr. Frank Schallenberger. Great guy, uh, years of experience in the field of ozone. He's considered to be one of the absolute masters. He's the president of the American Academy of Ozonotherapy. And I have been following this science of ozone for a couple of years now and been very interested. Uh, I finally decided I needed to go engage this. I think the therapy is safe and effective. I think uh, it'll benefit a lot of my patients. It'll benefit you. And I've got to tell you straight up, I wanted to go out and meet Frank Schallenberger so that I could get ozone. I want it for me. I want it for my Lyme's patients. Uh, there's a host of different people that will benefit from it. So I want this talk this morning just to kind of go over the basics of what ozone is. Let's clear some of the questions out of the way so that you have a good understanding and then can ask me, is it right for you? Okay. And with that, we are off and running. So what is ozone? Ozone is simply oxygen, but it's a special kind of oxygen. Oxygen exists as two molecules. Oxygen likes to exist in pairs in nature. So here's two molecules of oxygen joined together. That's how it normally exists. If I add energy in nature, that's a lightning bolt. Yep. So when a lightning goes through our atmosphere and hits oxygen, it excites the oxygen. Some of them break apart and they reform as O3. There's three oxygens, but this form of oxygen isn't very stable. It doesn't hang around very long. Depending on how you contain it, it's going to disassociate and it's going to go back into two oxygens and a single. That's what's going to happen. But when that oxygen cleaves off of there, energy is released. So I want you to think of ozone as simply a specially energized oxygen and we're going to absorb that energy into our bodies and it's going to do some really good stuff for us. So here's your happy cell. What does your cell need to be healthy and happy and have good energy? Well, it needs oxygen, right? That makes sense. It needs calories, either fat or uh, glucose. That's what it uses as fuel. And then our happy cell, as it processes glucose, it makes oxidative stress. Okay, well, it needs to buffer that oxidation. That's normal. And it needs to be able to toxify. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But as we age, what causes aging and degenerative illness? So what is degenerative illness? That's the chronic stuff. Uh, the acute stuff is, hey, you get a cold or you stub your toe, but the chronic degenerative stuff is the diabetes, the high blood pressure, the elevating cholesterol, the immune system decaying or your cognition decaying, right? That's the stuff we don't want. That's the stuff we think about as we crest over that 45 or 50 year old uh, age range. And so that's what we want to avoid because what's happening to our nice happy cell, that's a brain cell, a liver cell, heart cell, is it's experiencing some inflammation. Why? Too much bad food, not enough exercise. It has oxidative stress. In other words, the buffering capacity to buffer the byproduct of using glucose as fuel gets weak. Telomere shortening, you may have heard of telomeres those are the little ends of our DNA and they start to shorten and now that cell uh, has some challenges in replicating or multiplying itself. There's damage to the DNA, that's the genetic code. Now we're at risk for cancer. Senescence, yep, just like it sounds like. Senile, that cell's becoming senile. A senescent cell is a cell that's getting old and it won't die and it won't work. So it's taking up space and it's spitting out inflammatory compounds right? We don't want senescent cells. We want them to either die and be replaced by a young cell or work. Senescent cell doesn't do that. We have a reduction in autophagy. It's a fancy word that just means, hey, the cell can clean up its internal environment. It can get rid of damaged proteins and sweep up the floors and make things nice and tidy. And it starts to lose that ability. So it becomes inefficient. It doesn't function well. Your brain feels foggy. Your muscles are lethargic. Just parts of your body just don't work like they used to. And then immunosenescence. Our immune system is getting senile. It's not working very well. It's getting old. 
That's one of the definitions of aging. So that's not a happy tale, but this process starts early in life. So the problem is that cell just can't make energy. And when you talk about ozone, that's the thing to think about. Ozone can affect every cell in your body and it's simply gonna help that cell make energy. All right, here's the sciencey part. This is, we're gonna talk about mitochondria, which is one of my favorite topics. So here's your cell. This thing on the left is just a cell, any cell. Brain cell, liver cell, muscle cell, heart cell, doesn't matter. In the middle is the nucleus. That's where the DNA is and all these organelles. We're not going to go through that, but I want to point out this little guy, the mitochondria. There are a thousand of those in every cell of your body. And if you added them all up and put them on a scale, 10% of your body weight is simply mitochondria man, you want those. And you want those to be sharp and crisp and active because here's what the mitochondria look like. And this is not important to you, but understanding one thing, what does this mitochondria do? It makes ATP. That's energy. That's energy. If I measured the ATP production in any cell in your body, and I saw it start to go down, and there's lots of reasons why it does. Oxidative stress is one of them then you're going to start to feel lethargic. You're not going to recover. You're not going to detoxify. Your brain's going to feel sluggish. Your muscles are sluggish. Everything about you is taking a dive. We don't want that. You may have heard of Dr. David Sinclair. He's a researcher. He's not a physician out of Harvard. He wrote a book in 2019 called Lifespan. Nice book. Dr. Sinclair has done some really great research, and his research is pretty much agreed upon by the medical community that yeah this is important stuff when we look at aging he discovered that the sirtuin network there are seven sirtuins in every cell of your body and those sirtuins are simply proteins that keep the cell functioning as a young cell that's critical and in his research he found if i can do something to stimulate nad production within the cell that's what the mitochondria needs to make energy. And they found that the key to living longer and to being healthier at any age is supporting the mitochondria and making sure they have plenty of NAD. So he's a big proponent for saying that we should be taking things that stimulate NAD. You may be on resveracel. That's something that I personally take and I recommend to many of my patients because resveracel from Thorne is perfectly formulated to meet the requirements that Dr. Sinclair thinks is necessary to avoid aging and to live long. It supports NAD, all right? So all I want you to walk away from is sirtuins are important and NAD plays a big role. All right, buckle up kids, put on your helmet, put on your seatbelt, we're going into the library, we're gonna get very sciencey. it's not gonna last long, hang in there. Here's our cell, all right? This is, we're gonna be very short time here. This is a cell, here is the mitochondria. Here is the nucleus where the DNA is. Now I wanna show you, you don't have to understand everything going on here, but notice how many times, oh, there's NAD. Uh-huh, there's sirtuins acting. Nicotinamide riboside is what's in resveracel. It stimulates NMN, which is a precursor to NAD. Oh, there's NAD in sirtuins again. There's NAD in sirtuins. I just want you to appreciate how significant NAD and sirtuins are to your cell's ability to function. This is key. If you and I want to live long, and more importantly, not just live long and dribble on ourselves, live long and be vital. I'm telling you out loud, and I'm going to write this on a wall, on my 100th birthday, I'm going for a bike ride, okay? I fully believe that. I fully expect that, and this is why, because I'm going to fuel my cells. We need NAD to make energy, right? Ozone makes NAD. Ta-da! You know everything you need to know about ozone, all right? So can we revitalize the cell? Can we make it behave like a younger, more efficient, more vital cell? Absolutely, positively, yes, we can, right? And ozone research has shown that. Here's the impact of ozone. Here's my O3 molecule on the left. It is energy. 
What's it gonna do? It's gonna create ozonides in your body. It's gonna transfer that energy to proteins and fats <clears throat> that are then gonna go into our cell and stimulate our mitochondria. It's gonna hand off that energy to the mitochondria and it's gonna make the NAD to NADH ratio go up. It's gonna give us more NAD. That's in fact how it works. Why do we wanna do this? Well, I wanted it for anti-aging. I feel great. I want to stay feeling great. I don't want to, I know I'm going to get older. I want to get old, but I want to stay dynamic. I want to stay feeling like I'm 35. That's what I'm going after. And NAD supports that in my sirtuins. I want my immune system strong. If my immune system strong, I don't worry about COVID. I don't worry about the flu. I don't worry about cancer. I don't worry about infections. Because if my immune system is strong, I'm gonna, my, it's going to take care of that. For my Lyme's patients, I want this because it's gonna help you recover your immune function. For people that have autoimmune disease, if you have thyroid antibodies, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, MS, ozone has been shown to be very helpful. It buffers the oxidative stress going on in my cell. I wanna make oxidative stress. That's how we make energy. But remember my happy cell. My happy cell is getting older. It begins to lose the ability to buffer the oxidation that it experiences. It begins to lose glutathione and superoxide dismutase and catalase. Ozone directly stimulates those buffering systems. Well, hooray again, because that's exactly what I want. And then lastly, this stuff is amazing for joint repair and restoration. If we're talking knee pain, hip pain, back pain, any kind of joint, soft tissue, tendon, ligament pain, ozone is delivering energy to help repair joints. Did you know that more than half, more than half of all arthritic joints have a chronic infection known as mycoplasma within that joint? So the pain you experience in arthritis isn't just because, oh, you got bone on bone. It's because the cartilage can't repair, it needs energy and there could be a mycoplasma infection creating more inflammation in the joint and ozone will kill the mycoplasma. Ta-da. So across the spectrum, it's doing a lot of good things for me. So what's happening to me as I age? I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but we're getting more free radicals. We can't buffer them because our system to buffer them have gotten worse. The amount of NAD in my mitochondria is getting less and less. My cells are becoming old and crotchety and cranky and they don't work as good. My sirtuin function's not as good. My mitochondria, where I used to have a thousand of them per cell, maybe I'm down to only 700 or 600 or less. And I can't get oxygen into the cell. Ozone is super energized oxygen. And all of this is going on. If you're listening to my voice, it's happening to you. Because if you're more than 30 years of age, that's when this process begins. You may feel great. You may be a triathlete or a CrossFit champion. But at 30 years of age, our body starts to decline and go downhill. So anybody above the age of 30 can benefit. In fact, I'm going to use this in athletes that are in their 20s, and it's going to work. What can we treat with ozone? Well, aging, longevity tool, heart disease and diabetes, absolutely. Diabetes means your cells don't process glucose well. They don't process insulin well. This is going to help restore that function and help us reverse your diabetes or stabilize your heart disease. Infections of any kind, acute infections like a pneumonia or flu or COVID. What about chronic infections? Yep, Lyme's and herpes and gangrene. Ozone is toxic to any virus, parasite or bacteria on contact. So if I can get it in contact, direct contact, it will kill it. But it will also stimulate your immune system to go get it, right? So your immune system, the killer cells, are amplified. So we have great use of it in cancer patients, cancer support, supporting the immune system, joint pain I've already touched on, autoimmune disease, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid lupus, any of the autoimmune diseases, including Hashimoto's. Bow issues, it's tremendous. Crohn's, ulcerative colitis or GI issues, bladder, interstitial cystitis, which is difficult to treat. We do really good with it in integrative approaches. But this is another awesome tool. And then lastly, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and those kinds of things. Why? Well, if you're chronically fatigued, 
Your cells don't make, say it with me now, energy. You don't make NAD. Ozone's gonna stimulate you to make NAD. So, common questions, is it safe? Absolutely. There's more than 3,000 medical studies looking at ozone. Is it new? No. It's been around, it's been discovered in the 1800s. Uh, in fact, the, one of the Florida State Medical Association published a book in the 1800s on medical uses of ozone. Thousands of studies, it's safer than aspirin. It's not a drug, so there's not gonna be a patent. So your local pharmacy, your local primary care physician, your cardiologist is not gonna be aware of ozone. They don't teach this in med school because in med school, we're taught drugs and surgery. That's it, that's it. This is not a drug. So if it's new to you and you've never heard of it, well, it's been around for a long, long time. I'm looking forward to using it. I've already had it injected in my knees, felt much better. I'm going to take it as an IV. I'm gonna get it in me on a regular basis because you know me, I wanna stay vital, I wanna stay active. If I'm gonna be here, if I'm gonna be on this planet, I wanna be alive, brother. I wanna be doing some stuff. So if you're interested, reach out to us. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out if this is right for you. All right, have a great day. Take care now, bye-bye.